What up, what up, what up, world? Welcome back to Pop Dust Presents, hour number two. I'm your host, Decent. Special shout out to Heather LaRose for locking down the first hour, but we got the man of the second hour joining us, Paxton Ingram in the building. Yo, How you doing, good? brother? Doing good, man. I'm happy to be here. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? <laughs> Already bringing the energy. We appreciate that. Yeah, man. And special shout out to your man, Ben, on guitar. Ben, right here holding it down. Yeah. <laughs> so... Thank you for joining us. I know yeah, it's a little bit gloomy, but hopefully those vocals can kind of bring some cheer. The and, rain can't bring me. Yeah, some, <laughs> some vibes and some rays. Let's you get know. it. Awesome. So Thank tell you. the people a little bit about yourself for those who may not be familiar with who you are. Who I mean is. <laughs> who you is. My name is Paxson, bro. I'm Paxson Ingram. Um, from Miami, Florida. Uh, yeah, hold it down. 305 in the house man. always. Yeah, man. Um, I'm a singer, I'm an artist, I'm a songwriter, I dance, I was a dancer for eight plus years. I got a little start on a little show called The Voice, man, and it gave me a push like no other, and you know, now I'm out here talking to you, bro. Yeah. Started from the bottom, now you're here. Now we chill. You know what, we on our way here. Yeah, we, are, we on our way, we on our way. So yeah, like you just said, you got notoriety from The Voice. Yeah, man. I'm pretty sure I'm asking this question for the 1,000th time, but <laughs> what was that experience like? <laughs> Nah, you're the first person to ask. Um, <laughs> uh, dude, that that experience, it was it was amazing, man. You know, you get to be literally put in an incubator for ten plus weeks to do what you love to do mm-hmm. with homies that share that same kind of like that same passion. Mm-hmm. So that's just like a it's like being in high school all over again. So you just have freedom, and you know, you just literally get to be yourself on a grand scale. So it was kind of like the best experience that I get to, I mean, you know, the relationships that I have now with homies, uh, you know, for life all over Nashville, here, LA, you know, like, you know, and it, and it you know, give me a fan base. Give me Definitely. some homies to talk to, you know what I mean? And to share with, which was huge. Yeah. And after the season that you won, you actually came back and got to do some like yeah, man. Short. Like, yeah, dude. <laughs> how was that like kind of going from, you know, the role of being, you know, mentee to being like an alumni? Yo, that was, it was intense. It was just like I said, like high school, like you're going back after you graduated to go and see like everyone that's there. It literally felt like that walking the halls and, you know, where I would usually normally be like super freaking nervous. Now I'm like chilling, like, oh man, yo, what's good? And like cracking jokes and seeing the other people going through the same kind of rigor, you know, thing, the same kind of process that I went through, like, yo, chill. It's gonna be cool. The other side is fun, man. Yeah. It's gonna be chill. So that it was, it was awesome, man, being able to, you know, hear from them how they would watch my things to be inspired and you know it was just cool so like you know it was awesome every time i go back it's always love and family yeah going beyond the voice now like you like you said you cultivated a fan base so do you find yourself in a position now where you can kind of talk to other artists who are kind of emerging in the game and give them words of wisdom oh a thousand percent man I, i like definitely since after that I've gotten some skin, you know what I mean? I've gotten some skin in the game and it's definitely taught me a lot of things. I I definitely came in super wide-eyed and excited, you know, as you should be, but you know, you definitely have to learn. It's a process, it's a business, it's, it's, it's a game, you know what I mean? So you definitely have to learn those things and I definitely have little nuggets and tidbits that I share with my fellow like homies that are trying to do the same thing. You know what I mean? So, yep. hell yeah. Awesome, awesome. So, from the 305. From the 305, they kind of. <laughs> so, what was life like growing up? Oh, dude, life was pretty uh, intense, man. <laughs> like, I can imagine. can imagine. Um, I was, you know, for like the longest amount of time, I was like the only like true born American in my school. So I was, de- I was great raised around different cultures from a very young age. So I was speaking Spanish, you know, and trying like Caribbean food and just being surrounded by so many different cultures and things and it definitely and especially with you being from Miami Haitian culture definitely Yo, it's yeah, stop yeah, by man, no, I know some homies, yeah man. Um but that was it was it was really intense and just super cool to kind of be soaking soaking in that that culture dude like at a young age like just trying from like going to your homie's house and trying whatever their mom is cooking like yo what the hell is this inspire you never heard of it and like you know it's just my it definitely like shaped me into the kid that i am now the way i think will move you know yeah, so with so. that mixture of having different experiences being uh-huh. exposed to different backgrounds and different ways of life how did that impact you as a musician oh my god because i'm diff- like not only am i soaking in like the food you know what i mean i'm, I'm eating yeah. but <laughs> but what really got my like what really 
excites me is the music, the different types of music that I'm being like it, it introduced to from like the Caribbean, from the music from Haiti, the music from Jamaica, the music from Colombia, Venezuela. Like there's so many different types of like genres and sub genres, and I was exposed to so many different new sounds and things. And I try, and I try to like, you know, I really try to in me, when I'm in the studio and crafting, I really try to like put those things together. It, with, no matter what I'm doing, it like try to make yeah. that show. You know Take those little tidbits and kind of bring it in, yeah. And, you know, yeah, yeah. Put the Paxton stamp a on little bit. Like, you know what I mean? Put that Paxton bit. stamp. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. <laughs> so let's talk about the EP that you released in 2016 yeah. called Recover. You actually yeah. did a lot of the writing on that. Yeah. So what was that whole experience like coming from? the voice and then jumping in the studio and creating this body of work. What was yeah, that man, whole that was, process like? That was beautiful because that was my very first time creating an entire project. I would go in, you know, my homies and make songs and things that would just be like laptop music, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But this was like my first time like having people ready and like ears like listening to things. So that was, it was super intense going in right after the show. I was kind of like, I got to put things out, kind of rushing it and things weren't happening. I, the songs weren't coming out how I wanted them to be and like, you know, and it was me trying to find the right producers, trying to find the right writers that to, to, collab, to collab with and that can help me say things the right way. And that was a process in itself. I thought that was just gonna happen like this and it's not, you know what I mean? It's a process of finding those right people. So it took, you know, it was a fairly fast process to make that record. It took like three months in total to get everything done. And you know, that that's a very special project to me. Like it was my first thing and it's very personal. I felt like I was so raw and just like emotional and vulnerable and just ready. I had so much to say, leaving such a big moment in my life to like, I'm like, I was just like flooding every single thing and emotion that I ever felt. So it, 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 it's like a, I love that man. <laughs> that's my little baby. How much of your experience from The Voice did you take into the studio with you when you were recording Recover? It was a little easier to uh, know what I wanted to sound like. You know, it was no, no longer experimenting sounds and things like that. It was like, no, I had a, had a vision, I had a, a more of a focus. That's what I kind of like the biggest takeaway I, I got from that show was like being more realized and like super focused and fine tuning who I am as an artist and what I want what I want to say, you know what I mean? Because I'm singing so many different covers on the show that I'm, it's so easy to get lost in that and Absolutely. all that stuff and lose her artistry because you're singing covers and I'm like, nah, I can never do that. I'm an artist first no matter what. So I really have to find my voice in covers. So in doing that, I, I found myself way more. And so coming into making these sessions and making these this record, it was, or that record, it was just a little more, it was a little more easier to like let it out and to like, because I had a, a direction. Yeah, you you know seem I mean? to have this unique ability, like even though your voice has like a certain tone and a certain texture, it's like you can flow through genres very, very seamlessly. Thank you, man. Like you can jump from doing something very, very soul based, but then you kind of float into doing something a little bit more pop based. Yeah. Like, is it, are you conditioned to just jump into these different <laughs> venues just like that? Or is it something you got to mentally train yourself? No, I, I credit that to just like being a gift of mine because I'm a music lover. So I'm constantly listening to, if you look at my, my iPod, right? Or my iPod, no, <laughs> my iPhone. If you look at my iPhone right now, it's like, it's the 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 genres are endless and, I, and like it's like I I'm crazy and like I have like this ADHD when it comes to music. There's so many genres and things and I and I just I like being a student. I like hearing something that inspires me and trying to emulate that in my own way. Awesome. So I I'm I'm inspired from rock music to the glam rock music to some heavy metal things to folk music to you know some type of country. Not you know what I mean. I'm into you know just I'm as a music lover. So yeah, things I really, that sound good. See, things that sound good, man. I'm not opposed to anything i always try to keep an open ear and open mind especially when it comes to music and sounds and i'm a student of i just love music so i'm definitely if it inspires me if it touches me i'm i'll i definitely try to emulate that some way somehow i'll practice and just like until i feel like i can you know do it but yeah man thank you for that oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> i credit myself in being like a a genre hopper when it in comes, the best way possible. In the best way possible. Be able to just deliver a story, you know what I mean? Yeah, because you need different sides of your personality yeah. to tell different parts of your story sometimes. Exactly. So exactly. the fact that you're able to do that with music so seamlessly and it's so authentic is very, very dope. Thank you, man. Appreciate so how that. does Ben come into the picture? Oh, yo, my homie Ben. Yeah, man, he's come, he, come, he came into the picture. We went to church together, even before the show and everything. And so when it came time to putting the, the band together, and the sound, the live, the live show together, I, I had to call my homie up. 
you know, he's talented, he's a genius too. He's a brilliant songwriter himself. And so I just had to bring the best that was around me on board and whoever was there to support the vision. You know, you got to keep those people. That's very important Absolutely. and it's very rare that you do find those homies, like, you know, and, and that's not, that's not just in it because you had a little moment on TV that are actually in it because they, they believe in it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So that was definitely the case with Ben. And yeah, man, we've just been rocking strong ever since. Yeah. So what's the ride been like for you so far, Ben? Man, it's been, here. it's been crazy. It's been fun to watch. Like, I've been in it, but I've been able to watch it from a distance. So it's, like, been fun because, like, I've been on the ride, but, like, all the pressure hasn't been on me. Yeah. So it's been, like, all the good things about the ride minus, like, the stress. You feel me? So like, been, bro, you go do your thing, I'm going to be in catering. Right. right, right. <laughs> right. Like, I, the show, I got a lot responsible on my part for the show to go good, but, mm. like, you make the show go good, you know? Yeah. So it's been cool. Like, without you, there is no show, yeah. so. So it's just been fun. I'm so thankful that, like, he called on me to, you know, work for him. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a fun ride to watch, a fun ride to be a part of, and I'm, yeah, I'm thankful that I'm able to be a part of it, you know what I mean? Oh, well, yeah. you guys make an awesome duo, and thank you for lending yeah, your talents, yeah. too. Yeah, man. Rocking with us today as well, man. Yeah. Greatly appreciate it. So, let's get down to business Been there. So you got a new song out yeah, called dirty dirty <laughs> talk, hey. talk to people a little bit about dirty how it came to be uh dirty came out i uh, came to be that was very hard for me to get that out uh <laughs> um Man, I was, you know, I, I love, like I said, I love music, and I've always been a pop head. Pop has just been who I am, and I, and I was going in the studio, and I'm like, I need to, you know, explore that side of me. I'm ready to break free. I'm a dancer, so I got to dance and move and just... And plus, coming from that Miami yeah, vibe, man, it's I, like I gotta, dancing, like, Yeah, it's you know, a party vibe. I got to be true to who I am. You can't be a Miami resident and, and not Come dance. Come on, dude. Yeah. No, like, hey, I'm just a wallflower. I'm just going to stay here and chill. Not no, here. Dude, not, not here. here. Get out of here, bro. We don't want that. <laughs> But so I kind of, I, I, that kind of, I definitely wanted to break out and try to like, in, definitely explore a new sonic sphere, sphere for myself. So Dirty definitely was, I was, I, I was kind of like with Recover and the previous music that I put out was very, this mid tempo, almost ballad heavy, you know, vibe. And, and that's cool and all, but you know, I wanted to have some fun on stage. I'm, I, I'm, I'm a fun person. You talk to me when I do my thing. I'm a, fun is just how I love to live my life partying so I, I have to have music that reflects that so when i'm on stage it's it's honest and I'm, i don't have to force anything you know what i'm saying so but dirty it was super easy i went in with my homie jonathan shout out homie jay bach um we went in and we both we heard this record that my homie ben produced another ben i gotta keep the bands close bro all about cool. the bands man keep the all about the bands baby. <laughs> <laughs> but um so it, it was it was super dope, man. We went in there, wrote that song in about like thirty minutes to like less under an hour to write that whole record, and we went in, we took it in the, the next day, and cut the vocals, and my homies Ben and Crow, they hop, they did their thing with that record, and just turned it into this freaking banger that I love, man. So yeah, that came about. It was super simple. It was super easy. I wanted to party, so my homies like, I got you. So we have a new tradition circulating on Pop Dust Presents where. We have our guests read a passage from Don't Tell Mom. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Gotta keep that in there. And, um, yeah, so if you mind, you know, reading. <laughs> I'm AJ. actually against all reading. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> reading isn't fundamental. <laughs> okay. Oh. Let's if do you it. mind doing the honors. Okay. What do I do? Just read. Just read. Just go. Just, just read go. the page. The page Hold eight. on, let me give you an intro. Okay, page eight. All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, the literary style of Paxton Ingram. It's a friendship bracelet. I explained for the millionth time. David and I are friends. Lisa rolled her eyes. That's all it is. I snapped. Look, she said, I'm going to the dance with Marshall Wilson and a couple of other girls, and you're going to the dance with David. You can call it anything you want, but I say it's a date. I don't know why I read that with such aggression. I think no, I read keep that wrong. Okay. Keep going. I knew she thought I was holding something back from her, but I wasn't. David and I were friends. <laughs> Just friends. That's all. After sitting through one more rack of dresses, we went outside and parked ourselves on a bench to wait for Lisa's mother. My legs went dizzy with pressure. Oh, my legs went dizzy with pleasure. <laughs> a half an hour later, we were still waiting. I wonder what's keeping her, Lisa said, glancing at her watch. I wiggled around on the bench. Now my behind was going numb. 
She probably got caught in traffic. You know how bad it is on a Friday night. Yeah, but she made such a big deal about us being on time. 8.15, don't be late, Lisa said. Something more like her mother than her, <clears throat> Lisa said. Sounding more like her mother than her mother did. I got up, walked around, then sat back. Do I finish the paper? The sentence, the word, okay, that's page eight. Okay, all right. I got up, walked around, then sat back down. Thrilling. Yes! <laughs> Best. Yes! <laughs> so, at the editor's request, um... Could I... Could, could Dan, I just, let, let him know. Could I, could I, could I just, like, come sit on Yo, dude! I, 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 no, Sam, Dan, you know! No, this for you, dude! No, Dan! No, Dan! Back on the camera, Dan! Hold on a second, I don't want to spill the wine. Come right, through! Right, listen, come listen, through, come through man! Uh, Alright, so... The way I wanted to put it like this is that I, I, I'm having a lot of really great, great people come through, and I'm super, I'm super, like, I love your energy. Thank you, man. First off, like, one, your, your music's great, yeah. your energy is great, and I have to say, like, for, for the people, I gotta let them know, I was telling you off camera, but um, Barricade is probably one of my favorite songs right now. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I heard it on, I heard it on Spotify, Release Radar, before I even knew who you were. Oh, that's you know sick. what I mean? Yeah, man. You know, and I, I was listening because you know I get the, the updates, and then I, I saw your email coming through. I was like, "How do I know that guy's name?" I didn't, I you know, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know your yeah. voice or whatever. I look at stuff, you know, and uh, yeah. So so when I heard that song, and it just got stuck in my head. So I I, I just want to know like that that that's one of my favorites, and I'm hope hopefully you'll bless man. us with that that acoustic version. Just for you, bro. Listen, just thank you, you so much. Listen, I'm gonna get my my face out of here so you guys. <laughs> You guys get the real the real beauty over here, okay? Oh man, that's beautiful, man. Shut up, Tom. That was your daily dose Shut of day, Victor. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna call this the editor special the request. Editor special. <laughs> Thank Yo. you once again, my brother, Thank for stopping you. by. Thank ben. you. Thank you. And once again, dirty video comes out. Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, tune into the to my socials: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and we'll have you posted. Check in with your boy. Come on.